Got a big crash out of turn four, guys. Another caution involving uh, several cars. Eric McClure's in this one. Also, it looked like uh, maybe the 23 of Richardson might have got a slight piece of it. And Eric was sick this morning. He thought he was going to have to have uh, Mark Green drive the car. This team with Renzi Brothers as owners, Hefty's coming back. They're coming back next year. We're really excited. They didn't need this, that's for sure. Yeah, we've got some debris all over the track, uh, literally from uh, the high side down to where you see Eric's car. And there they're stopping the cars to make sure. And it was hard contact with that uh, turn four wall. And we are under a red flag situation. <laughs> I guarantee you, Mike Bliss is sitting there going, you tell that 88 car if he touches me again, I got a problem with him. And I guarantee you that he's thinking, how can he get to the bump that 88 and give a little love tap, a little payback? Now, wait a second. What number is Bliss? The 11? Yeah. And I think the 88 has trouble with the 11 and the other series. Uh, Maybe. Well, when Denny's over here. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah. I wonder if he just got a little colorblind and seen numbers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so. sure that uh, Mike Bliss is probably going to talk to him. Oh, and there is Kenny Wallace. Had his best qualifying effort this year. <laughs> Qualified fifth. Here's what happened. Kenny might have had a flat up top. That could have been. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, he actually oh, blows hey. Kenny's left rear out. Yep. Somebody Kenny. got into McClure. I can't tell who it was. Boy, he went hard into the wall. Safe for Barry right there. I still didn't see the number there, guys. I got to be honest uh, on who got into him. Black it car was, right there, either 92 or 29. You know, take a look at the 28 a little while ago. I don't, I think if he gets the tires back in that car, it's okay. It doesn't look like it really hurt anything. It hit the left rear tire, blew it out, spun him around. Then they all start crashing behind him. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm concerned about Eric McClure because that was straight into the wall. And uh, think well, good thoughts, folks, because the safety crew is down there working to extricate him from the car. And there they are gently taking him out. And uh, Eric obviously is conscious. Yes, well, when, you, when you hit the wall head on, you got your left foot on the brake pretty hard. And then sometimes it breaks an ankle. Well, we won't speculate on what the injuries are, but it, it's obvious he needs support. So uh, we'll wait for the official word from medical officials. And they just announced to the crowd that Eric was out, and that's the, the cheer that you heard. While they're uh, taking care of Eric, uh, we'll step aside for just a few moments here at Memphis Motorsports Park. We're under a red flag, our ninth caution of the day, laughter lap 165. Under a red flag situation here at Memphis Motorsports Park, we can tell you that the ambulance uh, has just taken Eric McClure to the infield medical care unit. A rough day for him. He started the, the day sick, and he ends the day in the ambulance. Take another look. We've determined it is the 96 of Michael McDowell that gets into him right side of your screen. Well, something happened there with, with Kenny. He slowed up. I think the 24 lifted a little bit, got hit from behind, hit that safer barrier head on. Luckily, it was that safer barrier. That, that, that's one of the greatest inventions ever in this sport. Okay, the safer barrier. Let's watch this one more time. Here he gets touched from behind, blows the left rear out of Kenny, slides across and left front hard in the safer barrier. He spins him around. And boy, that was a hard lick, but thank gosh that that soft wall, safer barrier, or whatever you want to call it, was right there because that really, you know, when they put this thing out, Marty, I mean, it took about 40% of the blow out of your body compared to hitting a regular concrete wall. Kudos to NASCAR for doing this. This has been a, a really cool safety feature, that's for sure. Developed years ago in conjunction with the uh, Indy Racing League where they first started it, and, uh, and then it, it literally grew around the country. And uh, it's almost at every major track in this land of ours. And it is good news about Eric McClure. Just talked with the NASCAR officials that Eric is fine. He's going to have to follow up talking with his family physician. Hopefully everything's okay there. But the important thing is, especially when we saw how hard that hit was, that according to a NASCAR official, Eric is fine. Back here. All right. Well, that is great news. And uh, we will send our best along to he and the family because uh, that was a tough lick. As it goes straight into the outside wall, that's a, that's a wreck that, uh, you know, Dean Sickens, from uh, Nebraska, isn't it? That, that yeah. did all of the work. Absolutely, yeah. And, and uh, Andy Hillenberg is looking for a wall for Rockingham. They need to come up with a short track wall. Every concrete wall that any race car driver can hit, 
it needs to be turned well, into a safer well, the, the wall is pretty pricey and all these t all these racetracks have been trying to afford to do that and a lot of them just went for it and put it in because it's such a safe device randy Absolutely. like you said and uh just about everybody's got it now i believe they're going to start putting it on the inside walls and almost all the racetracks too because they, they really do need that well the short tracks too that's where we need to go and uh let's check in on uh eric mcclure there he is let's talk to him right and good news, Eric McClure released from the medical center. Let's talk about how are you feeling right now? What kind of damage? I'm a little bit sore. I'm okay. Uh, the safety equipment at, at, that NASCAR's got, got going on and the Team Rincey team was, was good. It really did its job. A little bit sore, but I think I'll be okay. You were saying you didn't think you could hit the, ho the wall that hard, get fast enough to hit it that hard here. No, I really didn't. It looks like you're going so slow out there. Um, you know, we struggled today. We had just put on our set of tires for the race, um, and we were up there running with some good guys, having a lot of fun. Um, and there was a couple of guys bounced off of each other, and we just had to get out of the gas just a little bit and got hit from behind. But uh, I definitely hit the wall hard. Um, but, you know, there, there are worse things in life. But want to say hey to Miranda back home. It's her birthday. Sorry I can't be there. And uh, we'll go home, take the kids to Disney this week, and uh, we'll come back to Texas. All right. Once again, Eric McClure looking at that hard hit. Not doing bad.